The new trailer for Morbius just dropped. And... Well, let's just say I'm standing by my original assessment. (laughs) Welcome to the newest episode of SDW. Super Dario World! It's a me, Dario. Woohoo! All right, so I'm probably gonna keep this one short because there's really not much, <laughs> there's not much room to go for on this one. <laughs> Before we get into it, let me just give you a quick reminder: uh, you can listen to the podcast anywhere: SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, the iHeartRadio Radio app. Anywhere, just type in Super Die World Podcast. You'll find it right there. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can find me on Instagram at Dire the Show or at Super Dire Period World on Instagram. And uh, also follow my fan page on on Facebook. I update everything there. And so, all right, okay, that, that's what you need to know. So, the trailer for Morbius just dropped. For those of you who don't know who Morbius is, Morbius is he's a character from the Spider-Man universe. This movie will take place in the Sony spider-man universe okay now i will start with the one positive thing here the one bright spot in this whole thing actually two 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 bright spots here it looks like it's going to be a collaboration with marvel which is a good thing because marvel knows how to use its characters so all right I'll, I'll, i'll give it a little bit of point there the other good thing from this trailer is that batman's in it <laughs> And by Batman, I don't really mean that the character Batman is there. I mean, the original cinematic Batman is there, the actor, Michael Keaton. Now, it's not exactly clear what the hell he's going to be doing in this movie. However, Michael Keaton does play Vulture in Spider-Man, the, the Spider-Man Homecoming. So, it honestly, I have no idea what's going on here. Are they hinting at that they're going to make a Sinister Six thing here? Because Sony wanted to do something with the Sinister Six. Uh, I'm not sure if Morbius is a part of them, though. But, uh, I mean, Vol- <laughs> are they hinting at Vulture's going to be part of this movie? It's Is that the way they're going to try to bring everything together in their own little Spider-Man universe? I don't know, man. It's very confusing. But Michael Keaton's a good actor, and I really liked his Vulture. I think he was a pretty good villain. So, um, I think that's a good thing. I think. Honestly, I don't know. But it was... A potential bright spot. I'll call it a potential bright spot. I think that's fair. Everything else... (sighs) Okay. So, here's my my original impression from watching this. Okay, My, My initial feelings after watching it is that it looks like a very, very expensive B movie. Now, I'm not even sure that it's a good B movie. (laughs) But B movie nonetheless. You it, it, it has kind of like a campy feel to it. And you can very clearly tell that it was written by the dudes who made The Last Witch Hunter. <laughs> or Dracula Untold. You can tell. Because it has that style, that sort of feel. Which doesn't really mix well with superhero movies. At least I don't think it does. Or at least not, not the vibe that they're going for. Because they... <sighs> Hmm, not the Marvel, not the Marvel vibe. It's not the Marvel vibe. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll put it that way. So to me, it looked like a very, very expensive B movie. Uh, the plot seems kind of stupid. And Jared Leto, honestly, I'm a little concerned. Jared Leto looks like he's becoming the new Nicolas Cage. <laughs> he's horrible at selecting his movies. It's like he won his Oscar and then he became terrible at selecting roles. And I mean, terrible. And I can I really blame his performance? Is it really a bad performance? I don't know. I'm not sure. And actually, there's for those of you who watched the the TV show Community, there was there was an old TV show called well, not really old, but it, there was a comedy show called Community, and there was an episode where what one of the one of the main characters he's obsessed with films, and he took a class basically where the whole class is trying to figure out if Nicolas Cage is a good or bad actor, and. Uh, by, he starts off saying, like, oh, of course he's bad. And then he goes to the class. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> Is he good? Is he bad? I don't know. 
<laughs> Jared Leto, it looks like we're we're reaching that spot. Is he a good or bad actor? I don't know. But one thing I do know for sure, he's terrible at picking his roles. Stay away from anything superhero. You're not good at it. You're not good at it. Just stay away. Do other stuff. Uh do 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 the drug movies. Do the cross dresser movies. Do do Fight Club. Do God of what is it? God of War. Do other stuff. Just stay away from the superhero stuff because it's not looking well for you, buddy. It's not. I'm sorry. You seem like a nice dude. You're kind of a weirdo. I saw you live. I wasn't very impressed with your with your with with her thirty seconds to Mars. I expect a little bit more. I just ah, uh, just stop. Stop. Go back to what was working. Go back to what was working. So, okay. Point is, the trailer looks really bad. If you want to check it out for yourself, do it. It's Morbius on YouTube. Trailer. You'll find it right there. It looks really stupid. Let me know what you think. Um, besides that, I had kind of an, kind of an interesting thing happen to me today. <laughs> I don't know if it's interesting, good or bad, but I'll share it with you. I had a... Well, for those of you who don't know, I work for a morning radio show. And it's a very particularly popular morning radio show here in San Diego. And uh, one of my duties is I get to I screen the calls that come call, that come in in the morning. So I get to fill, fill I get to interact. Well, I get to interact with a lot of fans that way. But I also get to filter filter through all the crazies. And uh, everybody's got an opinion. And if you ever heard of ho- phone cojones, this is like the epitome of it. Because people sometimes just call the bitch about stuff or to complain or whatever. So I've gotten really, really good calls. I've gotten really, really bad calls. And I just have to filter through that. It's fine. It's part of the job. You learn to you learn to enjoy it. But today, I got maybe my favorite call of all time. And I mean of all time. <laughs> I had a guy today call in. Today, this is Monday, what, Tuesday, January 14th. I had a guy call in, and this is what he told me, like, Hey, um, I got some information for you guys that might be might be interesting, but uh, I'll trade it for you for some goodies. And I was like, "What? <laughs> this has never happened before. This this is new." So yeah, like yeah, you know, I'll I'll trade you some information for some for some station goodies. I'm like, all right, well, what do you got? You know, I mean, I, I gotta know. Well, maybe he's got something good here. And he tells me like, "Well, you know, you know what a splitter is." Like, no, you mean like for a TV, for a computer? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can grab one of those, plug it into, uh, plug it into a TV, and you can watch two different channels at the same time. If you get another one, you can plug it into three different TVs, so you can watch three different NFL games at the same time. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's what splitters do. <laughs> how how is this any different? Like, well. Well, you guys, you know, you, you at the station, you, you like, you talk sports, right? And so it, it, it'd be good. So it's good info, right? Like, well, well, yeah, but I mean, it's, we kind of already knew it. Oh, yeah, you already knew it. Oh, yeah, you already knew it. Like, yeah, I was, ever, when I was little, I, <laughs> I wanted to watch a movie, watch a TV show, play a video game. So I would get, I get three, three TVs together and, and I connect them separately. It's, it's not that big of a deal. And then you get, a, you get a splitter and that's how it works. Or in my computer right now, I have a splitter because I use it for gaming and stuff like that. It's, <laughs> this isn't, you, you didn't re, you didn't reinvent the wheel here. You didn't discover that somebody, well, actually you did, di- you discovered that somebody created the wheel and he's like, oh, dude, well, I mean, well, no, there's no way. There's no way you could have known. It's like, and it's like, all right, well, are you gonna hook me up? And and I was like, for what? For get first off, you already gave up the information. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you don't give up the information first. You wait till you get payment. Second, it's information that I already had. <laughs> So, so what are you doing? It's like, oh, come on, dude, just hook me up with tool tickets. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the, oh my god, I almost lost it. I almost lost it with this guy. Cause here's a fun fact for you guys: Tool was in concert in San Diego last weekend. <laughs> so I was like, wait, 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 wait. So, not only. Did you give up the information beforehand? <laughs> Not only are you offering up information that is already, it's easily available to the public. You are 
also asking in exchange for payment for for an exchange for payment oh, for something you already given by the way you already gave it up but your payment is you want tickets to a concert that t- that took place this weekend <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> and the guy's like no fucking way really <laughs> i thought it was next weekend no <laughs> you know what fine you got him you got him <laughs> how many do you want how many do you want? Like, ah, uh, oh, that dude made my day. Ah, uh, he made my, honestly, I, I've i gotten some pretty dumb calls from some pretty, pretty dumb people over the years. I've gotten some pretty crazy calls from people who are on some very crazy substances. But this guy, son of a bitch, man. <laughs> dude should not be a spy. He should not. He should. He should get out of the game. He's not good at it. He. He should get out of the game. He should get a day job. That w- he should get a day job and use that money to pay for his tool tickets. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I wanted to share that. It was fun. It was an enjoyable part of my day, and I didn't have enough to say about Morbius other than why, other than I still think that it's going to be one of the worst movies of the year. And after seeing the trailer, I I stand by that. I stand by the fact that I think it's going to be one of the worst movies of the year, if not ever, if not ever. Anyway, that's it. Like I said, any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can find me on Instagram at Dario the Show or at Super Dario Period World. As always, thank you for listening, and I'll see you again tomorrow.